Okay, I've got my base document uh, ready to go. I was going to type Command R to bring up the rulers. Um, clicking inside the rule, well, right clicking inside to make sure I'm looking at millimeters. Uh, I want to bring up some guides, so I'm hoping this will sort of make things a little bit accurate. Uh, I can look at the, um, the info palette if I if I so desire. Uh, just using half of the width of the document, so 105 mils, and then two other guides at 99. Ooh, that one was bang on. And 198 mils, 198, which divides the page um, into perfect thirds. And we're all about being perfect here, of course. Um, okay, so I can get rid of my rulers. Um, and what I would like to do is to uh, start using the rectangle tool. Rectangle shape tool, a vector tool. I'm making sure that it's working in shape mode, not path or pixels. Uh, it's gonna be filled with pure red, which is exciting. Uh, and I'm just gonna click and drag outside the top left hand corner down so that it snaps to the, the middle guide that I've created there. So in my layers palette, I can see that I've got uh, a shape layer um, sorted out there. That little icon's telling me it's a shape. Uh, I want to add a circle. In fact, what I want to do is subtract a circle from this shape. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool this time in shape mode. Uh, the one difference, I'm not going to, I don't care about the color for the moment, um, is that I'm going to choose exclude overlapping shapes. So I've got the ellipse tool uh, and I was going to go ahead and from any of you intersections of edges and guides and stuff. Uh, click and drag and then of course hold down the shift key to make a, uh, a perfect sphere. Yay! Uh, and that's done that because of the shape mode. It's punched a hole through the previous shape. I want to choose the path selection tool. Remember I can switch between those tools by shift A. But I need to select the entire path uh, so I can move that little fella into a new position. Uh, so because of the exclude shape uh, setting, uh, it's all working on, on a single layer there. I'm just going to go ahead and free transform. Um, I want to get this running across diagonally, so uh, I'll just drag the little origin point down to the, to the corner uh, of the document, and then I'm able to sort of rotate uh, that shape so it bisects the top corner. Um, I'll go OK and I'm just going to ignore that little dialog there. Uh, two other things I need to fix this bottom area or I'll do that first. So just typing Shift A to select the direct selection tool which lets me get parts of the path uh, and then I'll just drag that little sucker down so it runs straight off the page. Um, back to the path selection tool. This time I'm just wanting to move my circle shape and then I'm going to use the, the arrow keys to just sort of nudge it into position in between those guides. Excellent! Okay, that's pretty good. I'd better go ahead and save my document as a Photoshop thing. And then I'm going to save as, which is good practice, isn't it? Yes. To move on to the next stage.